Good morning. I don't know if you noticed, but there is a person missing by my side, eh? There should be a person here. Her name's Lucy, and she's gone. She's left me for a few days. <sighs> she's left me for a couple of days to go see her parents. Not that I'm upset, by the way. Her dad's got graduation because he's just finished his master's, I think. Which is pretty sick, by the way. That's insane. He's like 50-something, and he's still at school learning, getting better. Like, you don't see many people doing that. That's insane. That's really good. And the reason why I didn't go is because I can't, because I've got to do daily videos, and there wouldn't be anything to make a video about if I was there. I'd be too busy, and I just wouldn't be able to do it. And I I don't want to fall off my schedule because my work is important to me and my consistent it's consistency my consistency my dedication it's way too important to me over here so yeah a bit weird waking up with that loo you know nice nice 90.5 pretty happy with that i don't want my body weight to increase anymore because as my body weight increases i'm gonna get fatter and i don't want to get fatter because i want to improve my lifts with tiny body weight increases i don't want to go dirty bulking i don't want to be gaining loads of weight that comes with its own cell problems blood pressure acne feeling sluggish just not just you know bad things happening to you also speaking of bad things happening to you can you see my chest can you see how much clearer it is look at my arms by the way they're all fading so all the spots that i had from the fake tan and all the food and shit it's been fading because so listen i've had i've had a good routine to keep it at bay my acne i've kept it at bay really nicely there's a few things that i do number one i shower in the morning right and i scrub my chest shoulders face aggressively with a body wash that is a drying body wash that has like alcohol in it right the reason why it removes all the oils because the reason why you get acne in the first place is because say you eat bad food it increases the production of, of oils in your skin and then that traps dirt and then that creates acne scrub yourself in the morning scrub it off scrub all the oil off keep yourself clean then after the gym which is crazy i never used to shower after the gym i know stupid me but that's just i just coming after the gym coming after the gym if i can be bothered or before bed definitely scrub myself again make sure i get rid of all the oils and that seems to be doing well i don't have any new spots um all of the ones that i do have are all fading which is really nice and i've also been using this every single day which is like a salicylic acid this is meant to help with skin quality and it's also meant to help fade the spots which that once a day before bed has been working wonders like i said i wake up and i'm like every single day i'm like wow finally it's like everything's going away and it's really i'm really happy about that so despite my diet not always being optimal if i like to shower twice a day really scrub plus use that thing it's getting better which i'm happy about i'm really really happy about because it just really annoys me it just like acne just doesn't it just doesn't look right like look, these little spots just don't even look right i just I hate it i hate it gets on my nerves anyways i'm gonna go make breakfast we've got a pool day today i believe it depends i'm gonna eat my breakfast and i'm gonna consider it it's between a pool day and a leg day that's probably gonna end up being a pool day I just don't want to do another pool day and potentially be under-recovered, but I'm feeling, I'm like trying to feel out my biceps, trying to feel out my lats. They feel pretty strong, so I think it's going to be a pool day. If not, then we're going to go do a leg day at the other gym. It's going to be sick either way. Stick around. I'll see you boys when I've made breakfast, right? Little bit of an update. I'm going to see how I get on with a little bit of a high calorie. So I'm going to have 3,600 to maybe 3,900, depending on the day. I'm going to see, because there are days where I feel like I can eat a lot, and there's days where I feel like I don't, I don't have to eat as much. Does that make sense? So I'm going to keep within that range. That's still going to be a surplus, whether I'm in three 3,600 or 3,900, somewhere in between. You don't want to stress too much about your food because the only thing that's important with it, with whether it comes to cutting or bulking or maintaining is being a, about the right track, right? You're, you want to be around the right. You don't need to be perfect every single day. It's good if you are. You want to be perfect basically fucking 90% of the time, right? That's all that matters. The stuff gets in the way. If life gets in the way, your appetite might get in the way. You might get busy. You might not be busy enough and you eat more food. There's just loads of things that go into it and keeping consistent is the most important thing. So I'm having somewhere between 3,600 to 3,900, depending on how I feel. I'm probably going to be towards the higher range every single day, but I'm just letting you know that you can have a range of food that you're in and still make really good progress and still be on the right track as long as you're about on the right track. That makes sense. You don't have to be perfect every single day. And if you're not perfect every day, don't be hard on yourself. You should just take it easy. You're not in a rush to get anywhere, right? Lifting's a long, long game and results don't just come like this to anybody, no matter what you do. Um, so... Just take it easy, and that's my update. I'm having more calories because uh, I'm, I'm at 90.5 kilos. I just want to creep up towards that 90, 91 maybe, and then see how we look in, carry on going, carry on training, see how my recovery is. And then we can carry on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing because I set myself the timeline of in 200 kilos by June, and that is a very ambitious timeline, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna eat this up. Oh yeah, another thing I've done for my acne is this. 
It's vitamin A. There's 10,000 IUs. You can have up to, I think, 20,000 IUs a day. I wouldn't take two tablets. I just don't want to be on the higher range of anything because taking the lowest dose possible of whatever you're taking, whether it will be supplements, um, these skincare products, don't, you don't, use, don't use them that many times a day because then your body becomes dependent on stuff. You do not want to take a high dose of anything ever. It's a bad idea because even if you, even if it clears up your skin at a really high dose, then you're going to have to maintain a really high dose of anything. Anyways, doesn't matter. I take one of these bad boys every day. This is basically the whole point of this is that it has retinol in it and retinol is good for your skin. Basically, what this is meant to do is meant to improve the quality of your skin. It's meant to reduce the amount of oil you produce. So by taking this alongside cleaning myself and drying off my skin, the amount of oil produced overall is lower because I'm a very, very, very oily guy. My, my face is always so oily. My body is always so oily. So taking this seems to be uh, helping a little bit with the oily stuff of, skin, of my skin. I've noticed, like I've, I, w I woke up not long ago, right? I don't usually, if I go to sleep and I wake up, it's been hours I've been laying there and usually my forehead is literally just like a deep fryer. But right now it's not super super oily it wouldn't it's not as oily as normal so whether it's the combination of me showering and drying myself off or this as well or it's you know everything <clears throat> it works so so far vitamin a uh make sure that when you buy the vitamin a i, I would say search retinol acetate because that's the active ingredient there's, there's also retinol you can put on your skin i haven't tried that yet because so far everything's going well and i don't want to take more stuff if i don't need to so taking that along with all my other supplements they don't do anything but this uh, in terms of skin anyways this does something Cool. Could be any of the factors that I've mentioned, but I think my skin actually might be getting too dry. Like up here, I just shaved and I've got skin like flaking off. Keep in mind, I'm telling you everything that I take. I don't take any, um, I don't take any Accutane or anything like that because I know that Accutane can cause dry skin, but also retinol, which is the vitamin A. Accutane is just extremely high dose vitamin A slash retinol. So me taking a small dose, which is just over the counter, right? I think, I think it might be some special type of retinol or vitamin A. I can't exactly remember, but I know it's like something to do with vitamin A, which is why, what I take works. I'm getting some dry skin under my chin. Here, look. Kind of crazy. I just shaved. That used to never happen. I could shave against the grain, with the grain, whatever, and everything was absolutely fine. I can feel my skin is like completely dry. Keep in mind, I've been taking the vitamin A for about a week, which is pretty cool. I'm really happy about that because a little bit of dry skin, like, oh, geez, like flaking off. Um, a little bit of dry skin, way better than uh, a lot of spots all over me. So I'll take that as the trade. I hope everything's good with me inside. I don't know. I'm just going to keep flaking off. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you should probably subscribe. We're going to go smash a pool session. It's going to be sick. We'll see you in the gym. Ooh. Welcome to the training portion of the video. I don't know if you just heard me sound like an absolute gorilla, mate. But speaking of looking, being a gorilla, look at this man. Look at this man. Tell me this man doesn't look like a gorilla. Anyways, basically, I I am so, I'm feeling so good. I literally, I don't know how to describe it to you. The the difference, I'm, th I'm feeling the difference between the cut and the bulk is crazy. Because I'm going back. I'm like no longer changing gyms. I'm not playing around in different gyms, using different dumbbells. I'm back to exactly where I was. And the weights that I've been using, I've been feeling so good and so light and so on point because of the increase in calories. I'm going absolutely fucking ham on everything. I did like, I did a five sets of curls here. The last one being a drop set to failure. Absolutely to failure. Most of my sets to failure because like I told you, I'm, I can recover from it. So I'm just gonna go to failure because if I can recover from it, mate, more power to me, I'm gonna make all the gains I can, right? And then I went into lap pull downs, which as well, just on the money, the gym was completely empty, by the way. It was absolutely amazing. There was like nobody in it. I was like, I'm literally in heaven. Like this gym's mine. Like I just fucking felt amazing. You can see people walking by, but like it was basically empty. It was way emptier than it is usually. So I'm trying to say, I think that was 110 kilos on the lap pull down. That's a one to one ratio. Um, some cables are two to one ratio, so you're actually you're actually lifting half, but I'm lifting the whole thing. And then this, I'm showing you the drop set here. I just sort of go down by two pins every time. So I'm at 110 kilos, then I go down to I think 93, then 72, 50 something, and I just go down until I lich until I get finished a stack completely. So it's like a drop set that's like. There's like five sets in there and I just completely burn it out. I'm trying to pause, slow it down, get as much out of my lats as possible. By the end, I'm literally like standing there, spazzing out because I can't, I can't move. It's crazy. Speaking of crazy, by the way, I saw this guy in the corner of my eye. He was doing curls on this machine and I was like, wait a minute. I, I thought about my session and I thought my, my session includes two bicep movements, which are basically the same movement. So I figured, I was like, I'm, let me try and train my bicep in the shortened range if you want to be an optimal guy but yeah just trying a preacher curl it's got independent handles this machine which i i thought to myself i was like i've got two different arms they always feel really different so i was like independent handles are really good there's a machine downstairs in my gym which has handles but they i don't think they're independent and they don't move like this so i tried this machine and i was like oh my god this is insane it feels like i'm super stable and i feel like i can push this exercise 
like crazy. Like it's, this, this is gonna be the bicep exercise that's gonna take my biceps to the next level, maybe. You can see how much pain I'm in. I literally got off it, I was like <laughs> squealing like a little bitch. Mate, I'm telling you, the training is so good. Um, and then uh, dumbbell rows here. I increased the weights by two and a half kilos. So this is 45 kilos per arm. I was doing sets between 12 and 15. I did five and then on my last set, like I said, drop set, went all out. My fucking back was screaming. And right now, my back is so screwed. My biceps are so screwed. I'm so happy, man. Such a good training session. If you're not subscribed, you should probably subscribe and fucking train harder. Let's go. Back home in record time. Look, it's still like a little bit light outside. I know the days are getting shorter, but geez, I absolutely destroyed that session. I'm back here. 250 milliliters of semi-skim milk, 120 grams of chocolate, cho chocolate cocoa pops. Absolutely anabolic. If you're not eating your food in a plastic bowl, mate, are you even, are you even lift? I left absolutely nothing on the table in the gym today. Fucking smashed it, felt amazing. This is gonna spike my insulin. My blood sugar is gonna spike. Gonna replenish my glycogen. I got chicken in the air fryer. Woo! Wow! Can the day get any better? Can the day get any better? Mate, if you're training today, smash it, please. A good gym session just makes your life a million times better, I promise you. Go in there with passion, Fucking smash it. Leave, eat, do it all over again. The last tip I'm gonna give you about acne in general is a lot of it is dietary related. There's times where I go out to eat and I eat like a pizza, cookies, loads of dairy, basically. A lot of people get triggered by dairy. Not that you're lactose intolerant. Dairy seems to somehow build up in the body and cause acne for a lot of people. So if you can avoid dairy, that can also help your acne. Sugary foods definitely can cause acne. Um, you can literally Google it, you can, like, can, you can Google, do, do sugary foods cause acne? And it tells you like, yes, sugary foods cause acne, especially around the chest and shoulders, which is kind of strange. Um, high Highly, uh, foods high in saturated fat, foods that are very, very processed foods. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about crisps, stuff just that makes you feel like a greasy knob. Like if you're gonna go have a kebab, you can 100% guarantee yourself spots the next day. Also, alcohol seems to cause spots. So those are all the things that I would avoid as much as possible. Obviously, life gets in the way and you're just gonna have to accept it sometimes. But if you're cleaning yourself as much as possible, you can take the vitamin A, you can scrub yourself, put the salicylic acid on you. The stuff that I'm sure you guys are gonna drop, drop in the comments as well that is gonna help people acne. Um, that's basically all I'm doing and from what I've seen it seems to be working quite well because all the spots that I've had they're all fading away it's just like the leftover it still looks like a little bit grim but um, they're all fading away there's no new ones which is really good I'm really happy about that. Whatever treatments I'm pulling off here are working really well. If you're new to the channel please drop a subscription. Does that even make sense? Yeah. Like the video if you haven't liked the video yet and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Love you.